Okay. We left off over here. How do we know that an Ebed Ivri is acquired with a star? That's where we left off. So the Gemara said, according to Rav Chisda, we rule like Rav Chisda, that the Odun writes the star. Is that the father writes the star? You're not able to learn it from marriage. So therefore, how do I know it? So we quoted a posuk because it says She does not go out as the Evet Kanani goes out, as the Kanani slave goes out. So, but entry-wise, to be acquired, she can be acquired similar to the Evet Kanani. So just as an Evet Kanani is acquired through a star, so the Omevriya can also be acquired through a star. Right? That's what the Mar said. So Mar says, if that's the case, the Mar says, so why not Chazoka? And Evet Kanani, you could be able to acquire with Chazoka. So the Omevriya, you should also be able to acquire with Chazoka. Right? That's the Mar's question. So Mar says, because, so the Mar says, because I find star by a Basis royal. Because regarding divorce, a woman is divorced with a document. So, so since I find document explicitly in the Torah, Tosis explains regarding get, therefore it would make sense if I'm comparing the acquisition or the manner of acquisition to the Ebekhnani, it's star in the Chazoka. Because Chazoka has no, no relevance to Bas Yisroel. So Mar says, to the contrary, Chazoka, if you want to acquire Nixi Ager, something which is ownerless, how does one acquire the assets of a, of a, of a non-Jew. It's Chazoka. So Mar says, nevertheless, but in regard to marriage, we don't find it. And Shtar we find by Get, which has relevance to marriage. So we discussed yesterday. So since the emphasis of the purchase of an Omev Rio is what? Is Yud, that the master should marry her. So that's the initial <coughs> acquisition. So therefore we speak about issues. Therefore that takes... That characteristic is, is, is very pertinent to the comparison. Okay? It's interesting. I mean, so Rashi explains like this. Originally, the Moritz said, How do I know Shtar? Because this is a So we were just juxtaposing the Omivriya to marriage and marrying another woman. So Moritz says, That's very good if you hold the Odin writes the star because that's similar to Kedushin but if the father writes the star has no relevance so we're saying like this she's not freed as a Kanani is freed every Kanani is freed but acquired yes so it's, but it could be the star of Chazoka so the Gemara said why are you favoring star more than Chazoka the answer is because we have the ju- juxtaposition of marriage what was the issue the issue was it's the, it's, it's not the master, the father writes, not the master, right? That was the problem. But once I have the, uh, I have a question here. I only need imacherusi to determine is it chazoka or is it shtar. You following? Now the the problem was it's not an exact comparison, right? It's not comparable to marriage because by marriage the husband writes here, the father's writing it. So if I don't have that, the the, the hekish doesn't reveal anything. Here the Torah tells me from the inference that one of the two kinyonim that you acquire in Evet Kanani has relevance to acquiring a slave. So now we have a question. Is it Chazoka or is it Shtar? So how do I determine which one it is? So since in regard to Omevriya, it's juxtaposed to Shtar, because it says in Mecheres although there, so we're not learning from the who writes or who doesn't write. That's not the issue, Right? It's only with the manner. We know it's one or other. It's Chazok or Shtar. Now I, have, I just need something to indicate which one is it. That Hekish is sufficient that it's Shtar and not Chazok. Because, uh, well, because it's Chazok and has no relevance to the name. That's what the Mar Zibo Seimah. Yeah, but then we had a question. It, it, it's Chazok or it's, 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 or it's, or it's yeah, Shtar. Right? Right? Yeah. 
Right. Yep. No, the Gemara had because it's it's not chalto posel of nechem achreichem osem bechazoka v'lo achem bechazoka. Right? We, we have a mute. We have a mute. One of them is excluded. We don't know which is excluded. So that that's what we're dealing with. Okay. So now we have a question. We have machlokes Rav Huna and Rav Chista. When you purchase the Omivriya, who writes the Shtar? Does the father write the Shtar? Does the Odin write the Shtar? Okay? Rav Huna says the Odin writes the Shtar. The master. It's the acquisition. Right? So according to him, Los Eitzkisavonim, which infers, but to the acquisition, you can have a Shtar. According to Rav Huna, it's superfluous. Because according to Rav Huna, I have a Hekish to tell me Shtar by Omivriya. Correct? So, the Gemara asks, Rav Huna, Hai Los Eitzkisavonim, my Dorish Bay, what does he use this posseg for? Homi Boyle Shene Yosef Roshay Borim, Kevit. Loseitzik Tsesa Borim tells me not to infer, but the entry is similar, that she's not, she's not emancipated if she loses her eye, her tooth, or any one of the Chavdal the Roshay Borim, which is the case by an Evid Kanani. That's Loseitzik Tsesa Borim. So more ask Rav Chizdo. So according to Rav Chista, how does he understand? Because he, the Torah is emphasized lo seitze, to say that's only the exit, but not the acquisition. If the Torah wants to tell me that she should not be yotze b'roshe vorim, limited just to the release, to the regaining of freedom, it, should, it would be enough to say lo seitze kavodim. And Abed Kanani leaves his, rega, re, re, regains his freedom when he loses his eye, a tooth, or something similar to that, on that he answers, my kitsei savodim. He could have said, lo seitsei avokavodim. What's kitsei savodim? See, the extra word kitsei, shma minotarte. To, to, to infer, kitsei is not, but to acquire, yes. So, doesn't matter. It's like one word, one. Kitsei savodim. Right. The Kone is Atzim Bishonim, the Mishnah. The Evid Ivri is able to acquire himself with Shonim. We had difficulty with the, with the language of the Mishnah. If I sell you a piece of land for six years, in the seventh year, it reverts back to the seller. Why? Because he never sold it. Beyond six, he never sold it. So that's, he's, he acquires it, he's, he's always owned it. Even when the man has it for six years, the original owner owns it now for the seventh year and going, going beyond the seventh year. So it's not the konis atzma bishonim. Right? Man sells, the Torah says, every every is what? Is a six year sale. Six years. Maximum and minimum. X is after six years, what is it? It's, it, it's not beyond that. Right? So what is Vakonis Atzim Bishonim? Right? No, the question is, is it, is it a revi revocation of ownership? That, that's what we discussed. So we said, you could say, by Yovel, the Torah says, Avodo Olam. When a person receives the all through the year, it says, Avodo Olam. So the, the connotation law means forever. So what happens when Yovel comes? Yovel is a revocation of that. But by Sheishonim, it doesn't say the word Lolam. I, I, I understand that. That's what, seemingly, that's what you have to say. Right? We said that, we said that because of the Amevriya. Right? We said that a, 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 an Ebed Ivri has to, if he wants to stay beyond six years, he has to make the declaration to the Bezdin, or Hafti Esadoni Yishti Vanai within six years. Once the six years expire, it's too late already. Right? So we ask the question, so in Om Evriya, we have a mute that in Om Evriya says, I want to stay, she doesn't stay. So we ask the question, what, is, what do you need? An exclusion? She's a katana. If it's a, considered a new acquisition, so her saying means nothing. A, a minor can't sell anything, because a minor is not a, a bardas or a bazdas. Right? So what do we need an exclusion that she's not able to say, you have to eat as Adoni, Whatever she says means nothing. 
So what we wanted to say is what, what, what you're bringing up, that when a person sold, they're really sold forever. Except something after six years it revokes. So therefore, for that, it's, it's not really a transfer. She's just removing the basis for the revocation. When she says, oh, hafti. For that, I need a mute, an exclusion. No, it has no application to the woman. A statement means nothing. Okay? That, that's what we said. But if not for that, you could say, no, it's six years. You sold for six years, you go out after six years. The chsiv, how do we know six years? Sheishonim yavod, v'shvi yashi yitzhi chavshi. Ubi yovel. Also yovel. Let's say a person sold three years before yovel. How do we know yovel terminates? Ever ivri, or let's say even the marzea. Yovel. The chsiv, achnasi yovel, yavod imoch. Until Yovel he works, not beyond Yovel. Be growing Kesef, and every every goes, and somehow he comes up with the money, and he says to his master, I, You purchased me for 600, he works three years, he says, I, I want to buy myself out after three years. For the additional, for what, the remaining years? He can. Be growing Kesef. And it, the, the master has to take the money, he can't retain him. Oma Chizkiyo, Doma Kro, the Hefto. The hefto means she redeems. She's redeemed. Melamed shemagaria pidyona viyoto, that you reduce through the pidyon through the redemption, and she goes out. Okay. It's mitzvah. He doesn't have to. Doesn't have to. She wants to go out. He he purchased her. No, she comes up with the money. It's irrelevant what he says. He has to release her. He has to release her. He doesn't have to take money out of his pocket and say, take the money and redeem yourself. Tano, we learned in the Brysa of Akonasatsim Bekesif. We, we had earlier the pigeon Maisashani, correct? You want to redeem Maisashani? It says, Vitsarta Kesif, we need Kesif Tsura. You have to have minted coins. What about if you take bullion, silver bullion? Kesif? And you say, let the Kedusha of the Shviyas go on to the bullion. It's not effective. Torah says you need kesef tzura. It has to be minted. Minted. But it's kesef? No, it's kesef tzura. So maybe when the Torah says kesef, maybe it means the silver itself. What about shavah kesef? Something which in value is the equivalent? How do we know shavah kesef? Konesatz bekesef b'shavah kesef. Whether she gives the mass the kesef or shavah kesef, ubishtar. Excuse me. Bishtar. Bishlom kesef dechsev mi kesef b'knoso. That's explicit. Shava kesef nami yoshiv yoshiv guloso. Omer achmono the rabbi shava kesef from the word yoshiv. That comes to include not only kesef even shava kesef. It's interesting. I mean, right? I mean, even logically speaking, why would I think that shava kesef should be the equivalent of kesef? You don't need kesef tzura. Right, you don't. It doesn't have to be minted. Kesef means kesef, silver. But I would think it means silver and not the equivalent of silver. See, so if you want to give platinum, platinum would not be good enough. Even though, in, in terms of being a precious metal, it's it's much more precious. It doesn't make a difference. There is kesef. I mean, why would I limit the interpretation to 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 see it's so exact? The Rabbi Shava kesef, kesef. Okay. So what would you say? You know what I'm asking? What do I need? Exercise to tell me shove a kesef ke kesef. So understood kesef. Kesef doesn't mean necessarily has to be kesef. Shove a kesef. I need exercise kosef. Yoshiv. Otherwise I would say that kesef means specifically kesef. Give you an example. There's, I think it's a... Uh, Rama, Rama's Ramir Alevi is one of the Rishonim. He says regarding the Torah says that if a person um, is it regarding damages, it says Meitiv so they Yishali. Right when you when you when the damagee collects from regarding uh, Mazik, let's say if your animal goes and grazes somebody else, the question is what do you pay? The damager, what does he have to pay? So it says Meitiv 
So the mate of so they usually. So if you have different uh, quality fields, you know you have what we call igis, bainanis, iburis, the best quality, medium quality, and inferior quality. You know, so suddenly you know, he owns he owns uh, endless acres in, in 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 the Everglades. You know, you go get yourself uh, one of these boats. You go out to the Everglades. You can't do that. You have to give him matev, the eight matev sodeo. What about if you want to give him uh, cash, money? Right? Money is the equivalent of matev sodeo. Made him is the best, the best quality of, of, of the real estate. What about if he wants to give him a truckload of feathers or a truckload of sand? Right? Is, is, could, he, could he pay off his debt as a damager to the damagee? <coughs> or do we say no? Okay. Okay, so Kesef, I would think maybe, because Shabbat Kesef means anything he wants to give. She wants to give him a ton of feathers. She could give it to him. That's Shabbat Kesef. Right, so really that he has no say what she wants. What the means of value is. It could, be, it could be a hardship for him. It exactly. doesn't make a difference. Terms of Shabbat Kesef, Kesef. See, by Kedusha, you can say, we also learn Shabbat Kesef, Kesef. Yeah. She's, she wants to get married. She's agreeable to take yeah. it. Right? But over here, here, you're imposing it on the master. Yoshim Dorabos. El Haishtar Hechidomi. Now, when it says that she acquires herself with the Shtar, what is the Shtar? Interesting, over here. Ilay me de Koslo Shtora Ademei. Hainu Kesef. If she's writing a document in IOU, she writes an IOU, I owe you so much money. She says, that's Kesef. That's not Shtar. Correct? That's when you marry a woman with a star. What's, what's marriage star? Hare Mogadeshisli. Right? That, that's, it's not an IOU. When he gives her, IOU, she says, IOU $1,000. That's Kesif. That's Shavik Kesif. Right? Because the IOU has m- markability. You, you market it, on the market it's worth so much. So what star? Hare Mogadeshisli. So what star regarding the Omevriya regaining a freedom through star? If she, is it that she wrote, I you, you owe you so much money? So that's that's Kesef, right? That's Shove Kesef. When he says Kesef means Shove Kesef. Elo Shichru. Shichru. Now it's interesting. The Gemara says, if is it that she wrote in the star, Adme, that's Kesef. That's ke- what do you mean? That's kesef. What does that mean, David? What do you say? The Gemara says like this. The Gemara says in uh, in Bavakama, in the Ruba, the Torah says if a person steals and he's caught with the stolen object, he has to pay kefil. It's a penalty. It's knas. You have to pay the object plus its value. That's kefil, double of what you stole. Okay. What about if a person steals a star? document. You have a document that says somebody owes you whatever the amount of money is. And you steal that document. You pay kefum on the document. So Mara says based on a klau pradu klau you don't pay. Why? Of course you need dover hamataltel of gufa mamun. It has to be something which is immovable and it has intrinsic worth. Intrinsically its value is determined, is dependent on what it is itself. You steal a table, the table, its value is the table itself. What is the value of Ishtar? It's paper. It's only because, it, what happens? A person goes in, the Gemara says in Bava Kama, a person has a, a million dollar document, and I burn the document. Am I a Mazik? Dave, you had a question. I burn the document. So the person who burned the document, as a Mazik, as a damager, he, he, what did he burn? Now the man's not going to be able to collect his debt. What, what, what was he mazik? Did he damage the debt? He didn't damage the debt. The debt is intact. Without the document, a person has a key. A person has a, a combination to a vault which has endless money in the vault. And a person takes the paper that has the combination, destroys the paper. Now he has no access to the money in the vault. But what, what, what did he damage? The money's in the vault. The access, you don't have access to the vault. Right? You, you, 
So that's causality. You cause me a loss. Now the man, out of the document, the man's not going to pay the debt. Right? The, the, the document is the key to collect the debt. That, that, access, that access is the debt. So you're not a mazik. But what, about, what happens if I have currency, paper currency? I burn the currency. Right? You burnt the currency. The currency has an innate value. Like today's currency. We're not talking about one time we had uh, silver certificates. A silver certificate means you were able to what? To go to the, the government and they will give you the equivalent of silver for the dollar. That, that was a silver certificate. Right? That, that was also a star. It was a star only. Except people accepted the dollar because of what it was backed by. So it was, it really was, it was like selling a star. Except the markability of that is, is its face value. Not less. Because there's no, no, no question that you're going to get a dollar for it. Right? So that's not called Gufo Mamon. Over here, Marzis. The cost of Shtar Ad Demeg. I know Kesef. That's Kesef. But it's not, we're not talking about regarding Kefil. You know, over here we don't need Gufo Mamon. Which means you gave value. If factually you market on the market, that document has so much value, which is the equivalent of what the balance of years that he has to work. So she, that's Shavu Kesef. It is Shavu Kesef. But regarding Kefil, you need Gufo Mamon. Its value has to be intrinsic in what you steal. When it's intrinsic, you pay double. If it's only rep, it's representative of something else, then you don't pay the Kefil. He's a mazi. He's he's he's. No, he has to only he, no no. He only pays the value of the paper. The paper itself is worth five cents. Doesn't make a difference. Doesn't make a difference. Doesn't make a difference. Doesn't make a difference. You can never get into the vault. The money's there. You don't have access to it. Exactly. You could say maybe it's, it's, not, I don't, I'm not, it's, it's not even grammar. It's not even grammar. If through indirect cause I cause you damage, so the object of value that was yours was destroyed. Except because it came about through indirect cause, the court cannot enforce that. Right? So therefore it's B'day Shabayim. It's Chayiv. It's part of B'day Odom, Chayiv B'day Shabayim. The human court cannot adjudicate it. B'day Shabayim, yes. Here, even they, the money's in the vault. You just can't get there. So the money is not damaged. You're denied. No, 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 no. No. Why should it be? So he caused the problem. So therefore what? But that's not a mazik. That's the denying you access to your house. If I destroy, you have a key to your house. And I destroy the key, so I have to reproduce, I have to pay for the value of reproducing. No, but that, that's how you value the, the value of the key. Yeah. But, no, but here I destroyed the paper. Yeah. And, and the, and but the paper itself had something recorded on it. To, to replicate that. Now the question is like this. The question is like this. A, a vault, what's the value of a vault? value of a vault has a certain cost value. But a vault that you can't get into is worthless. Correct? So the paper with the, with, with the combination... That's the key to the vault. But it's the vault that's not what's in the vault. So I have to pay you only regard to the, the value of the paper because if you'd want to buy that vault, you need this combination to, to, right, to get into the vault. Like the key. No, so what's on the paper. But it has nothing to do with what's contained within the vault. It's like the key. It's like the key. The on the paper to be able to get into the vault. Yeah, but what about what about the money that he can't get into the vault? And what happens if you can't locate? You can't locate the person who could open up that vault. What about all the money that's in there? It's gone forever. Right? It's irrelevant. Yeah. You speak like a person with experience. <laughs> Yeah.
It's not, he's not, there's no liability. No liability. The money's in there. It's your problem. You have to get in there. So let's say you have to, like you said, to research how to get into that account. That's something else. The cost of that, he would have to cover. But it's not the money that's contained in the account. Because the money in the account, the money's there. It's just not accessible to you. See, if you take something and you throw it into the ocean, so that's, you've destroyed it from existence. That's considered, ex you've removed it from existence. That's what we call avudim imenem mikolodom. It's lost from you and from all humanity. It's gone forever. It's in the vault. We have to figure out how to open the vault. court cannot adjudicate it, but you have to reimburse the person. Because your action destroyed that, 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 that item of value. No, 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 that caused a loss. This is denying you access to what's yours. This is, the item is destroyed. No, that, that's, that's grammar. Bidei Shemaim, Hashem says you, you, you must pay, you must reimburse. No, correct, correct. Correct, correct. Correct, correct. As a damage, you can't even, you can't even, uh, you, you can't seize it. No seizing of property. If this man wants to work things out, that he shouldn't have a claim against him, he has to, he, has, he should pay that, that loss. There's always justice. There's divine justice. Okay, there's just. So, what about if you have a second court who doesn't, uh, is not as sensitive to what the Torah is sensitive? So, where's ju you can ask a question where's justice? We do, we're, we're doing our best. That's the justice. I understand. Precise. There is true justice. Is, we speak of Kim Lehman Drabine, right? The court will not enforce the lesser offense or the lesser, the lesser claim with justice. Okay? Evidently, that is, that's human justice. That's sufficient. No. Grums, every, no, Grums, okay, it's Potter, Potter. There's a question of Garmi. Garmi is something else. See, this is closer to... It's a whole discussion what Garmi is. This question what Garmi is. No, no, okay. It's, it's not saying what Garmi is and what Grum is. Grum is more indirect. But you caused it should be taken. Okay. So then, then it would be maybe a garmi. It would be a garmi. Garmi means it's it's indirect, but it's certain. It's certain. That's the difference. It's a question whether it's, it's an argument of whether whether that's you consider a damager where you have liability in the court. The court can enforce that. But it's an argument. It's an argument in the Gemara. It's an argument in the Gemara. Yeah. Okay. Elu Shichru. So we're talking about, so what is the Dishtar? We're talking about emancipation. Now, when a person sells himself into slavery, we, we discussed many times, only a Jew can own a human being as a chattel. A Goy cannot own a, another human being, like Evit Kenani. But a Jew can. What about a Jew to be owned? A man says, I sell myself as a slave for six years to you. Or a person sold by the court. 
Does the master own the Jew? He doesn't own him. He's not his asset. So what is it? Because he paid so much, he's indebted to work. Let's say I, have, I, I lend you money and there's a lien on your field. And the lender says, I waive the debt. The field no longer has the lien, correct? The lien, the basis for the lien is, is the debt. So if the lender waives the debt, there's no lien. A man who sells himself into slavery for so much money, so he's indebted to work for the amount of money he received, correct? So what happens if the master should say, I waive the debt? You're no longer indebted to me for the money I paid you. What should be? It's like waiving a debt. So that's more, what do I need a star? What do I need a writ of emancipation, a star, like a get, like a get shichur? Verbally, you should say, go, you're free to go. What do I, but it has to follow the process of star. Star normally, lamely, babi trezil, in babi beidinazil. In presence of the witness, says, go, or in presence of Bezdin. Right, to make it that he definitely has Kimira's Das, that he means what he's saying. Omar Rovo, Zoso Meres, Evid Ivri, Gufa Konui. So evidently we see if Shtar is needed, it's Gufa Konui. That actually the, the person has an intrinsic interest, although he, is, he doesn't own him as an Evid Kanani, but he has some intrinsic interest in the man. And the only way that interest could be released is only by giving a, a Shtar. This is an important tosis here. According to Shmuel, Shmuel holds Hamafkar Abdu Yotzel Lecheres. Even if you you disown a, a slave, even Evid Kanani, he's free. Yotzel Lecheres. So over here, when you say go, why is it any different than what? The Mafkar Abdu. According to Shmuel, Shmuel's opinion says to an Evid Kanani, you're o- you're, fr- you're you're ownerless. He says, I am relinquishing all my rights to you. Hefker, you're Hefker. So. So if that's the case, over here, why is it any different? Now, there's a, uh, a famous question. The Ran... It's time? Continues tomorrow on the telephone. Okay.